Black Side High Tech. In this video, I want to do a teardown of this chicken rotisserie oven. I want to see how it works, and I want to see if there's any parts worth salvaging. Let's get started. First, what I'm going to do is do what I always do. See a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw, and remove all the screws that I can find. And there we go, all the screws removed. Open up this bottom panel, cut some of the wires. And as you can see, here are some very simple and interesting components. This little timer seems very interesting. This little knob here, changing the temperature. And this little switch that changes different modes. All very interesting. And what I like the most is this AC gear motor. AC gear motors are very interesting and they can also be very useful. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is cut all of the wires. And I find this component very interesting. Interesting about this one. That's cool. Might want to use that. Okay, so now I'm going to go and remove the AC gear motor. Remove it from the inside is a lot easier. And there, it comes out just like this. And I really like this one in particular because as you can see it has this type of housing which is very useful. I can probably easily use this as some kind of turntable with using this AC gear motor. Because of this housing I can easily put a flat board on top and then drill a hole into the board and simply attach a rotating table to it to make it easy to rotate. And it mounts into place. I find this to be very useful. Next what I'm going to do is remove the heating elements. There's two of them. Both of these seem to be very interesting, so I'm going to go ahead and carefully remove them. Can't really get to them, so I have to remove more screws from the housing. And lift up the housing, just like this. And there, this part of the housing is now removed. Now I'm going to remove some more screws. And now pull out the heating element, and now pull out the other one, and there, I've got both heating elements. Definitely going to use these for a future project. Next, what I'm going to do is remove these knobs. Removing the knobs will reveal more screws, so that way I can be able to remove these three components. And the knobs, those can be very useful. Might use them for these components or for something else. And now, remove the screws. And there, all three components are now removed. This little plastic piece might be useful. And this little timer component can be very useful. And this little switching component might be useful. And there you have it, all of the components that I've salvaged everything that I thought might be useful. I have right here those three components. This one is a timer component. If I'm not going to use this component, I could just simply remove these wire connectors, and these little wire connectors can easily connect to speakers, and usually these are very useful. So that way I can be able to connect things together without the need of soldering. And this little component is very interesting. It has two different kinds of wires, the black and red, which means it may switch to two different components. I can probably connect it to two different electrical components. One switch switches on one, and then turn the switch and it will switch on the other. So one goes on and the other goes off, and the other one that went off goes on and the other one goes off. Maybe very useful for something like that. And this one right here is for changing the temperature. It kind of reminds me of a potentiometer. Not really sure if I want to use it, but it could work. And this right here is the AC gear motor. AC gear motors are my absolute favorite. I can probably use this for a turntable like what I said earlier. 
and the way it's designed with that kind of housing, I can definitely use it to be able to make a turntable. I may do that for a future project. And I got some screws, and screws can be very useful. And this little incandescent light bulb may be useful with this little red plastic piece. Might use it as is. Not really sure, but I might use it. Definitely can use these rubber stompers to keep things from vibrating to reduce noise or movement. Or if I wanted to, I can reattach them to these feet. And these little feet can be very useful for holding up different devices. And these knobs, knobs can be very useful. Either I use it for those three components or use it for something else. And these heating elements, these can be very useful. I have an interesting idea where I would take two of them and put them together and maybe put a crucible inside to melt metal. So maybe these I can use for melting metal. Might be able to melt just uh, zinc or solder, but I don't think it can melt anything else higher because the wattage isn't very high. Or I can use these to boil water. Because I think these will get hot enough to boil water. Might use these to make a water heater out of. And a closer look, so that way you can see how many watts these are. And as you can see, it's 120 volts and 750 watts. I think if it's under 1000 watts, it doesn't get hot enough to melt metal. Definitely boil water, but not really for metal. I'm not really sure. I'll have to test this out in the future to see what it can melt. And there you have it. Now you know what's inside of a chicken rotisserie oven. You know how it works and what kind of components that are worth salvaging. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, click on the bell icon to be notified of future SciTitech videos. To the next tech, goodbye.